There's new research right, right now that shows that men who drink coffee regularly can lower their risk of prostate cancer, especially the lethal form. The Harvard study found that the highest coffee drinkers had about 20% lower risk, a 20% lower risk of regular prostate cancer, and a 60% lower risk of the deadliest form of the disease. Joining us on the phone this morning is Dr. David Samadhi. He is the chief of robotic surgery for Mount Sinai Hospital. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, guys. How are you? Terrific. Good. What do you think of the study? I think this is a very important study, and this is something that we've been waiting uh, for a long time for this. Now, coffee in general, in the past, Greg, we've talked about this. It can affect diabetes, Parkinson's disease, and, and liver disease. But now there's a really strong association between the, the lowering the risk of prostate cancer and developing it and coffee. Now, I think what you mentioned was important. The fact that six cups or more is the secret number that can reduce the aggressive type of prostate cancer. But then the big question that every patient was asking over the years, what if I only drink one or two cups? Is that going to be helpful? And based on this study, we know that there's about 30% chance of reducing it. So I think it's very important. The other important thing that came out of this study is that caffeine doesn't play a big role. Whether you're drinking decaf coffee or regular coffee, you would get the benefit from that. And the big question is exactly what is the big uh, player in this whole thing that can reduce the prostate so, cancer. So you don't know. It's not the caffeine. Well, the theory is that there's a lot of uh, <clears throat> factors, antioxidants, that could be anti inflammation that can reduce the prostate cancer. Um, but there is no question that coffee, something in coffee can affect it, reducing the sex hormones and also affect the insulin regulation. And that somehow reduces the risk of prostate cancer. Yeah. So I think this study is extremely important and it's uh, I'm glad that we're talking about Doctor, it. Doctor, um, this is coming from a, a serious coffee drinker, uh, at least six cups of coffee today, a, a day. And but there it are just, risks, no, yeah, to drinking yeah. six cups of coffee it, a day? It sounds inherently... Well, there's risks for people who work with people <laughs> who drink six cups of coffee a day. I, 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 she really should get extra pay. Actually, she already does, so never mind. Um, I, think, um, I think drinking six cups of coffee will strike a lot of people as just inherently unhealthy. I think that's a very good point, and I really don't want anyone that's listening to this program to start running to the coffee shop and start drinking tons and tons of coffee. Obviously, more studies is necessary to find out exactly the, what coffee can do on the entire system, whether it can affect high blood pressure and affect our brain system. So I would not rush to drink six cups of coffee. But the question is, if you're drinking one or two cups a day, is it really helping you as far as reducing the risk of prostate cancer? Especially if you have family history and you're drinking it, this is a very important information. It also tells us that for years we thought caffeine can play a role. That's not the case. Right. So overall, Doctor, it's a very important study and it's, it's important for patients with risk of prostate cancer. Thanks so much, Dr. Samadhi. We got to go, but thank you.